Alright, so make sure that you don't do this little dance she just did, because she looked like a shiny-ass pigeon. And now she's turning up and shit. And we right back to depression. I don't know what's wrong with this girl. She is bipolar. I'm in, in a party, she know her body, so she want it. Hey, I be seeing y'all get lit to my song as the intro. Yes, yes, I know. I be the comments. But let me, let me let her intro the video real quick, then I'm going to come back. YouTube, it's your girl Diana back with another YouTube video. And as you can see from the title, I'm gonna let my guy friend basically do a voiceover for me while I install this wig. I already know he about to try to rally me. Um, most of you guys may know him because he was in my last few videos, like in December. You guys might know him from TikTok, all of that. NYC Dame. I don't think I should do this video. Now he's basically gonna like explain what I'm doing, and it's gonna be funny because that nigga don't know shit. So. But of course, this video is sponsored by The Show Hair. Um, they sent me this wig. I love this wig. It was super soft before I even like washed it, installed it, or any of that. So I just wanted to let you guys know a little details before he go and take over my fucking video. This is a water wave wig, and it's 26 inches. I'm gonna stop talking. Everything about this company will be linked in the description. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to follow the hashtag Damn Mom because you're not with the gang. You can hang without further ado. Let's just jump right into the video. I so off the rip, first thing, Diana, your head look like a fortune cookie. I see you back there. So first, you want to just grab your wig and grab your tinted lace and you spray it, you feel me? And next, all you got to do is cut the mesh off the wig. But you got to be real careful because if you cut the wrong way, it might not, you know, yeah, exactly. So you got to make sure you do it right. So after you do that, it's important you shake the wig and make sure it's not stiff. After you make sure that it's not stiff, you just want to put it on. Make sure you don't put it on backwards because what are you doing? So just like how she did, you got to have the little flappy part in the front. All right, so after you get the thing in the front, you just want to extend it. Make sure it's like all the way stretched out. All right, so this part right here, this shit is mad crucial. So you got to make sure you don't mess up. That's why she's taking so long. And after you do that, you just want to fold it backwards. All right, so make sure that you don't do this little dance she just did because she looked like a shiny ass pigeon. Just make sure you focus on getting your hair right and stop the nonsense. All right, so next up, you want to put the ointment on your forehead because how you going to lay down a wig and you ashy underneath it? So you got to make... Oh, that's glue. That's glue. That's glue. That's glue. So make sure you put the glue on dot by dot. You don't want to put too much because it's just going to make you feel me. It's going to mess it up. All right, I know I said don't put too much, but make sure you put enough because if it's not enough, your, your um, flappy thing might like lift up when your hair is down. So you just got to be careful of that. All right, so as she's applying the glue, you want to make sure you pause the video Go get you some chips and come back, because that's what the fuck I'm about to do. So just, you know, yeah. All right, so I'm back, and she's still applying the glue. It might not take you that long, but it seems like it's taking her more glue, because her head is big, so she has to spread it, because her head is, like, shaped like a bicycle seat, so it might take longer. All right, so it seemed to me like the glue was burning her. That would explain why she's moving like Mr. Krabs right now. So, you know, just don't touch it, because you won't mess it up. Just let it cool off. All right, so this part is also important. You just want to make sure that you press down the flabby part on the glue. But you got to get it as close to your hairline as possible. So make sure you don't mess up. Take your time. Brush the hair back. Comb the hair back if you got to. Do whatever you got to. But make sure you get it mad close. But don't get it on top of the hair. You feel me? And that's why she taking, you know, you see what she's doing. All right. So she's still going because she wanted to fit perfect. I don't really blame her for that. You know, that's a common sense. Why would you not want it to fit perfect? All right, so right here, you think she's actually playing around, but she's not. Because as soon as you get your hair finished, you're going to go straight to Snapchat and record yourself. You want to make sure you know the lyrics and not look stupid. So she's practicing for that. All right, so next, you just want to put your hair in a bun or a ponytail because the next step, you don't want the hair getting in the way. So, of course, that's what you want to do. Next, you want to put on your head tie over the place where the glue is at. Make sure it's a silk head tie because you don't want to put that crusty shit on your head. Your shit got to be boozy, you feel me? Silk only. All right, so next, you want to give it some time, clearly. And Oh, I know my products. I know what that is. You want to take that coconut leave-in conditioner. Yes, I got that at the crib. And you want to just spray it all over your hair. And after you spray it, you just want to comb it. You Is that, yeah, she got a braid on one side, so I'm pretty sure she about to braid the whole thing. So, yeah, you just want to section it off, comb through it, spray it again, and then, um, yeah, braid it. Nigga, I said braid it. Hurry up. You over there combing it again. All right, so next you want to just take the head tie off. 
Um, I don't know how long she had it on for because this is the edited version of the video, so I don't know. All right, so after that, you just want to take you some safety scissors and make sure you don't cut yourself, bro. And just carefully snip away at the little mesh part. Oh, she fucked up. She needed a new wig. Messed up already. But she kind of saved it. I give her credit for that. So she, you know, she keeps snipping away. You see how crispy the hairline is? It got to be perfect, you know, perfect fit. So just keep snipping real, you know, a little bit, little bit. All right, so when you've done the excess flappy part, you don't need that no more. So just take the whole thing off, put it down somewhere. And this is where you should kind of start seeing a little bit of results because you see clearly she went from a shiny-ass pigeon to a fancy-ass mosquito. She's getting better. All right, now you're done with the part that need, like, extra precision. So you could take the braids out now. It don't matter if hair get in your face. So you just want to unravel these real quick. You know, like, I don't think that you had to braid it. Now that I'm looking at it, you probably could have just put, like, a something to hold your hair back, but whatever. All right, so after you're done doing that, you just want to grab some strands of hair and stretch them out a little bit. You know, you want to stretch them out, get them real flexible. And then after you do that, you just want to just want to press them against your head like just make sure that they fit press the uh the strands of hair against your head and you came a little way so you know you get your little dance off start feeling yourself and then you know all right come on let's get back to work right, so re-grab your safety scissors and then you just want to cut them not all the way off because i'm guessing these is your edges so you don't want them all the way off you don't want them too short too long so you get to cutting them on both sides and you know you know you know how to do your edges i don't know how to do edges you know what you're doing all right, so after you, yeah, you get your edges laid down. Make sure they laid down. After you get your edges laid down, you want to go ahead and grab you a hot comb. I don't know if she thought I was not going to know what all this stuff is, but I feel like I'm 100% right so far. Get your hot comb, comb through your hair. Make sure it's real steamy, real nice. After you done, make sure you put down the hot comb carefully because it's still going to be hot. Do not accidentally touch it. Y'all got burn yourself, dogs. Make sure you do that. After you do that, you want to get some sort of grease and rub it on your scalp. You don't want to, you know, you got to show your scalp some love, of course. You don't want no dry scalp. So after that, you want to just take your comb and run it through the middle of your head. And, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So you want to run the comb through the middle of your head, take the, the, the strands of hair and move them. Because your, your um part, it got to be bold, like bold. So you just want to move it. What the fuck are you looking at, bro? Why you look like you about to cry now? <laughs> Bro, what? Oh, I, I, she just said the word middle. I think she's dread because this derelict did not make her part in the middle of her head. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. So I don't know if you could reverse that, but we about to see what she about to do. It seemed like she about to try and fix it. She put her hair in a bun again or whatever. All right, so while she tying up her hair, make sure you like and comment and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. All right, let's go. All right, so... Um, yeah, I don't know how she's doing her edges again. I don't know how they got undone. But, yeah, she's just laying them down again one more time. I guess she tried to fix it and accidentally undid her edges or whatever. So she fixing them. And now she's turning up and shit. And we right back to depression. I don't know what's wrong with this girl. She is bipolar. So next, you want to... Oh, my God. Yo, listen, I swear to God I did not watch this before I made this commentary. We watching it live at the same time. I did not know that was going to happen, and I clearly warned her about the cold. Y'all heard me. Yo, I just had this random ass, like, anxiety thought. Like, what if I just wasted all my time making this commentary just for y'all to finally see it in the comments and be like, yo, this nigga is mad annoying. <laughs> so she said her camera died, so she fixed it up off camera as you can read, you know. Right, so I'm pretty sure we towards the end of the video now because now she's just, you know, there's no more installing. She's just combing through it, make sure you groom yourself, right? Bro, how are you igniting yourself at the end of the video, bro? Are you dumb? What are you doing? Like, bro, I just can't, bro. The video is over. Just please get me out of here. She just be doing stupid shit. How are you now noticing your part is not straight? We been, we all seen it, my nigga. And yeah, that's really it. So I'm pretty sure I got everything 100% right. And they thought, what? What, am, what? 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 If I didn't, don't say anything in the comments. We just gonna act like this never happened if I got everything wrong. So yeah, now she's posing. She upgraded. She went from a shiny ass pigeon to a fancy ass mosquito. And now you look like, um, 
a fucking spicy ass glove. Yeah, you, yeah, you feel me? We did that, bro. We did the hair. We did the hair. I caught it out. As soon as this video over, she about to go to snap. And, well, you probably would have seen it by now. This is in the future. She probably noticed if she was on Snapchat or IG trying to look cute, singing songs and shit with her hair done. You know exactly why. But I ain't going to violate because, you know, we both did that. We got the hair done. You feel me? So, you know, go off, bro. Do your thing. And if you're watching, uh, yeah, just let her know that I really do this commentary shit. Tell her y'all love me and shit. Thank you guys Come for on now. Watching this I'm video. out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I won't know if he bothered me or not until I'm like editing it. So hopefully he did not because he, he played too fucking much. Let me know if y'all want more videos like this instead of me just doing wig and stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for the hashtag day of mile because you're not with the gang. You can hang and like I said, V Show Hair sponsored this video, so everything about them will be linked in the description. Well, I haven't said are you dumb on my channel for so long. Like y'all know that was my shit, like I was like my slogan type shit like are you dumb nigga are you fucking dumb see you guys in my next video